up for one is simply not tight enough and that of course give Conan a good chance to do whatever he wants. But I, I do understand the principle of it. Sixteen seed, Gunther Pong won. Number sixteen seed, that bronze medal. Uh, predicted that he'd have a bronze medal by the end of it. No, no that was a major upset, uh, but uh, he really deserved it. I think he played so well in Barcelona. Yeah, he did. I, I think, however, it's been a little bit tricky for him, being a little bit difficult to follow up on that. Wow. Yeah, they on court very quick. I mean, it was a heck of a first round encounter, wasn't it? it? It was. When you think that Axel's the Olympic champion and uh, Loken Yu had bet in the final of the Indonesia Super 1000 event. Yeah, a few weeks ago. Oh, look at that match on. One that could do it as well is Lee Sitya. Who is he playing? But essentially. Uh, but lately, when he's played so well. In the matches that he, he is winning, he's not been tested. You know, it's not 16 all, 17 all, 18 all, and all that. Whereas in the past, he's been getting too nervous and then losing points that he normally not would lose. So you've got to stay with him, you've got to keep the pressure on him in order to really see. But when the Olympic champion phones you up and says, Hey, do you want to come and train with me? Oh, just him. Uh, like just same. Yeah. Also, Borstead. Yeah. Brian Yang, and they've all been playing well. 11. Yes, the three years ago. 300 event, 2019, came through the qualifying and then beat Linda. I, I know maybe he can't do it, or he can only do it for a very short time, but I think he needs to do it. He needs to add more pressure on, on Lo Can Yu. At the moment, there's not enough pressure, as you rightly said before, Jill. He scores at will, and the follow-up and all that. I think that's the only option he's got. He, he's got no winners. That's, that's the option. Oh, my goodness. He's 4-17 down and can you has rarely started. He's got a very low centre of gravity. Yeah. And when you look at it, he's got very, very strong legs. Very strong legs. to Chen Yu. Oh. 
Oh, that's nice. Long net in into the court uh, is invite into flat play um, like this. He cannot follow. I mean, he won in Saarbrück and uh, recently then reached the final of the Indonesia 1000 event. We could see that he was growing in confidence, but I mean, honestly, this is. Down to twenty, but you don't go winning bronze medals at world championships. And I mean, he, he was a junior world championship bronze medalist once and on as well. So I mean, he's always uh, come through the system. Oh, that's, that's ten love, eleven love, eight to love. He was twenty love down. Yeah. Well. He got a point. He did get a point. Yes. And he, he was very, very happy for it. He know. was. But that was against Koki Watanabe, wasn't it? It was. 21-11, 21 That's out. a little bit so I think there is a chance for one to run to get some point. Oh. Using to follow up on is simply not tight enough and that of course give Bonin a good chance to do whatever he wants. But I, I do understand the principle of it. And six. Yeah. This is why. This is how he was able to beat the Olympic champ. Third round. Let's not jump ahead of ourselves. No, no, no. we will not do that. Right. Net play and so on. Antonsen has got a good net play as well. But whether he can follow. Up. exactly how I actually anticipated this match to be. Rallies like this. The margin of the victory.